I titled this sermon, The Lap of Delilah. We're just going to look at his life and draw some insights from the life of Samson. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed, now you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. So as, as God is speaking to Manoah's wife and says, you're going to have a son. He continues saying, this son is no ordinary son. This child that you're going to have, he has a call of God on his life. And in order to fulfill this call, he has to be consecrated to God. Now the Holy Spirit has begun to engage with Samson, awakening him to his call, moving upon him. But however, in Samson's life, as would be in all our lives, he had weaknesses. And his main weakness that, was, that is highlighted for us in scripture is his weakness for Philistine women. The enemy's strategy is quite simple. He attacks us and he places enticements in the areas of our weakness. That's how he works. He comes over and over and over again at our points of weakness. The lap of Delilah is a place of compromise. And I'm using the word compromise in a negative sense. That means we are cooperating when we should not cooperate. It means we are yielding when we should not be yielding. It means we are conceding, we are giving in when we should not be giving in. That's the compromise. Make yourself happy, but not at the expense of obedience to God. That's compromise. The second thing we see about the lap of Delilah is that the lap of Delilah is a place of complacency. It is coming to this place of, of self-satisfaction, of self-approval. That somehow you come into that state where you're satisfied, you approve of yourself, you're comfortable. That you don't want to make the extra effort. That's being complacent. The last thing, the lap of Delilah represents in this story. It's a place of carelessness. And you can imagine that evening when Samson is walking into Delilah's, I don't know, tent or home or whatever she was in. And he lays down in her lap knowing she has the secret to his strength. And he's saying, I don't care. If compromise moves us out of our place of consecration to God, if complacency puts us in a place of vulnerability to the devil, carelessness could be our downfall. In conclusion, when you look at the life of Samson, it's a life of unfulfilled potential. If he had stayed in his place of consecration to God. We don't know what God could have done through him. If he had just stayed faithful to his call. Surrendered to the anointing. But just being in that place of consecration. But the lap of Delilah cut it all short.